Steve Allen, your urban gardener here at the site of, uh, of the property on Rito and Charlotte Wallace House. You can see the peak of the of the uh, roof area oh, over here. Oh, where's it going? Oh, right there. Uh, so we spent a nine hours here today. We started at 8:30, 5:30. This is the easternmost part of uh, the property. There it is, Wallace House. There. So cleaned up around each of the maple trees. Put compost in. Put mulch in. All along the fence has been trimmed. This uh, honey locust, I believe it's a honey locust, fixed up as well. This maple, this corn is cleaned up. Regina's garden over here uh, pruned everything back nicely. Compost has been added. Mulch has been added throughout. Beautiful garden here. Isn't it lovely? Wait till the hydrangeas uh, bloom. It's going to be beautiful. And the peonies, lilacs are in bloom now. Pruned this uh, little maple hard. It needed some help. Fertilized everything with a high uh, phosphorus fertilizer for the flowers. And then down this side, just this is just the parking area, the back area, not the prettiest part of the building. The front is very pretty. For those of you who don't know this building, it's a heritage building. It was a hospital way back when. There's the Alpine Currents to provide a lovely barrier between the tenants that live downstairs and the cars. Check this out. We've uh, we turned all the soil on these two trees which are suffering terribly but they're doing well they're coming back we fertilized them with spikes last uh, week and turned all the soil compost mulch and then we're getting to the front this is charlotte street lovely little bed here this rose bush when it comes into bloom i'll give you a video of it um lovely little bed here and look at this the lilac beds everything's been edged there's the boys long day here we uh, put a little support in the sand cherry here. It was it needed work, so we did that. This area has all been seeded and, and cordoned off, so hopefully the grass will come back in this area. Look at the beds, it's beautiful. Oh, it's been crazy windy. It's been threatening to storm all day, but it hasn't. My flag spun around itself. So here we are. Oh, a little pile of debris there. Uh, all the spots here in the lawn have been filled in. Look at these beds. Put a, a support on the lilac there. It was It was easily... 10, 15 degrees that way, so now it's now it's up properly. Look at this, the irises coming into bloom. It's gonna be beautiful next week. Irises blooming here, fixed up all around the trees out here. Everything's been edged, compost everywhere. Five yards of compost, five yards of mulch. Get a bit of transplanting in this bed, moved a few plants around. There was a lily in that corner, got rid of it, moved it over there. Roses have just been pruned, so they're all gonna be fantastic in uh, another few weeks probably and all through the summer and uh this this bush has really come back we pruned this really hard I, I wish i knew what it was it looks like a honeysuckle i'll have to get an id from jp on that so there you go and uh it's a beautiful building here wallace house uh built in 1873 i believe that's what it says up there so there you go, Steve Amling, your urban gardener, growing a greener world one yard at a time and sometimes doing some real urban gardening.